Okay, so uh, to start off with this uh, MIDI learning, we're gonna be working with a pretty simple project, and uh, where I've got on track one a kick, track two some uh, hi hats, and track three some uh, percussive ele elements to make the, all this a little bit more fun and interesting. Okay, but uh, for now, what we're gonna concentrate on is. Uh, we're going to be playing some tracks of the virus ti that i've got connected here on the side in which the same i'm using tracks one two and three on the midi part for triggering uh, different things like the track one is uh, like a bass line okay track two is like some arpeggiator okay which is already playing here some arpeggiations and then track three is some chord okay that happens every four bars to give a little bit more of variation well what we're gonna do is get these elements and automate them from the octa track which is really really cool technique basic well, we're gonna focus for example on the channel 3 at the moment because it's this bad sound okay that we're having and the uh, first thing to note that we're gonna come here is sent to the playback page we're gonna be choosing the channel that is sending and receiving information okay it's to to automate or to record all these MIDI uh, learn functions but also for triggering the nodes no like for example in this case I have a trigger on uh, on the first trigger is triggering a uh, a note which uh, already the chord is being done in the virus with the oscillators that's why it sounds three notes okay so now um, we're gonna go into effect page one which is in the MIDI section is MIDI control one the, uh, well first what I want to say is that whatever I'm talking about the part one it applies to part two okay so you can do this this adjustments on the two pages equally so in effect uh, one which is MIDI control one we've got here uh, pitch pen after touch control change one control change two control ch change three and four and the page uh, second page we've got another six control chains this doesn't mean that this control change one is sending control change one or two or three or four means that this control change uh, knobs can be assigned to any parameter any control change you want to control no? of your external gear so right now they're off if you want to uh, switch them switch them on to have any effect you press function and the data entry knob you press click and automatically they get activated okay so in this case we've got control change one activated on so we could be sending this which is specified on the second page which is midi control one setup okay here is where we can screw uh, sorry uh, scroll through uh, different control change parameters and by clicking again they will be assigned to that uh, uh, control change 10 in this case but uh, this the really really cool technique about the MIDI learning functionality is that you don't need to go now to the MIDI implementation chart of your synthesizer to know exactly for example what is the cutoff uh, control change for for it no uh, in my case I know that the virus uh, cutoff is a control change 40 okay but doesn't matter what we're gonna do in here is instead of uh, uh, doing this is. what I'm gonna do is press function plus this and we see that it enters in MIDI control change one learn listening for MIDI control change messages now I'm going to the virus I'm gonna turn the knob of uh, that off and there we go 
So already this that I can be doing on the virus, I've got it assigned to the control change one. And now by turning this knob, I'm controlling the cutoff of the virus. This is extremely cool because what happens is that you can do parameter locks and enter uh, different uh, LFOs, adjusting and changing these uh, control changes or note by note. Okay, so well, for now we're gonna leave this. We're gonna do a second one, okay? Which we're gonna switch it on by pressing function and in this case D, which is control change 2. We go into the second page and the same process function plus D and the, uh, the machine in MIDI learn. Now I'm gonna turn the resonance on the virus. There we go, for control change 42. So now we have. Here the resonance and here the, 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 the cutoff. For example, now we could come into the LFO page and say automate me control change one. So now we're having this LFO controlling the automating the cutoff of the virus as I was if I had to be turning it by, by hand. What this means is that all in all what you can do just with one channel is control the pitch bang and the aftertouch but you can control four different control changes in page one and another six on page two so you have a control a total of ten different control changes that you can be sending from the Oct Octatrack to any external gear and uh, as automations you know as you would do it in a in a DAW in a digital audio workstation where lines are going to be controlling these these uh, changes no and uh, because the Octatrack allows you as well to design your own LFO well the possibilities here are endless no okay so what I'm gonna do now is uh, switch off this uh, rhythmic uh, sounds and we're gonna in order to feel it better now we're gonna be just playing this second track maybe which is the arpeggiator pretty simple but well basically what I've done here as well is uh, do a, a trigger which is telling the notes which is C1, 3 and uh, semitones more plus 5 and plus 12 and uh, this is set into a random arpeggiator and uh, yeah that's triggering the notes on the virus same case scenario no if I go into the virus and I turn the cut off I get really nice stuff no what's the really good thing about this as well is that for example what am I gonna be doing here is uh, turning portamento a little bit to give a nice slide effect. We're gonna repeat the process. Effect one. In this case, I'm gonna be activating the four of them. Uh, it was assigned before. But whatever. What am I going to be doing now in this page is uh, the same. I'm going to be putting it in MIDI learn function by pressing function on the knob. Then I turn the virus cutoff, put it there. Second, going to be going here for the decay. Okay. And then I'm gonna be also be controlling in here, for example, the release. And in the fourth one, we're going to be controlling here, for example, the noise volume, the oscillator. 
Okay. Taking all the side. Now I can come in here. That's the noise. Okay, I'm gonna turn them all down. And we're just gonna play and record some stuff. Okay. Okay. And the same we could be doing all this craziness. Great. Next thing. Well, first of all, Electron, we really need to be able to assign this stuff into these things, you know? Because the problem is at the moment, you can p-log any of these control change parameters, but you cannot... Uh, no! You cannot assign them individually into the crossfader, which it would be absolutely amazing if you could actually be uh, morphing all these control changes into of the external machines or, or many more machines no? because each channel would allow you to control up to 10 parameters con via control change of external gear so the amount of things and transitions and things you could do by, by being able to assign, assign these parameters to the things uh, would be really 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 good but for now we can just automate them with the LFOs and the P-Logs which already is really cool no? So, really cool. The fact that we can build them, for example, in this case, this is the baseline. We're going to be do we're doing the same. Switch it on. And uh, now we're going to enter MIDI Learn by uh, function and pressing. We are going to automate in here the cutoff as well. And we're going to be open the cutoff. things about the virus is that you have these three knobs that are like macros you can assign many things to them as well so and I think they send me as well let's check that so we're gonna switch it on go in here and turn into MIDI learn and I'm gonna turn the sub knob value three of the virus there you go wow so now I can be controlling this macro the same so, let's for example put the first note with Resonance. 
Extremely amazing, really, really. So yeah, one of the really good things about this as well is that, well, imagine you've done a lot of stuff already to the thing, like in this case, and it's not sounding so nice anymore. Yeah, the bass line. So what we can do as well is switch them off. So all these control changes are ascending can be switched, obviously, on and off by just doing the same process of function of the activating the There you go. And anytime. Well, I think that's it, and uh, yeah, so uh, be expecting some more videos soon, explaining little tips and tricks of this amazing sampler. And yeah, I hope uh, you enjoyed it, and uh, please subscribe if you like it, because it helps me a lot. And uh, see you soon. Bye.